Hey guys, thanks for being a part of Speaking 360. This week I wanted to share a quote with you that we covered in one of our programs this week. That's very, very powerful, but there's two reasons I want to share it with you. One, because I think you're going to get a lot from it and it's very, very powerful. But also because it, it highlights the Speaking 360 philosophy. It highlights the, the importance of putting the audience at the center of everything, because if you don't do that, it's very easy to misunderstand this quote. It's a quote by Peter Guber. He said, purposeful stories cleverly contain information, ideas, and emotional prompts and value use propositions that the teller wants to sneak inside the listener's heart and mind. And the bit that our minds immediately jump to, <laughs> certainly the miserable English cynic in me jumps to, the, the teller wants to sneak inside the listener's heart and mind. So it sounds kind of sneaky, doesn't it? It sounds crafty. It sounds like covert influence, covert persuasion at its worst. We want to sneak ideas into the mind of the audience that may not be good for them, but maybe they're good for us. Maybe it's like, give us your money, give us your money, give us your money. That's where your mind <laughs> jumps, isn't it? But that's not what he's saying at all. And that's not what any ethical influencer is uh, is trying to do with indirect influence of, of stories. And the Speaking 360 philosophy, putting the audience at the heart of this, really the key to that draws your mind to the very first word, purposeful. Purposeful. It's not about the sneak, it's about the purposeful. Because purposeful stories are trying to help the audience. Purposeful stories, there's a benefit for the audience in the story. There's a purpose to the, to the story. We're not just sharing stories. We're sharing stories to help the audience. We're sharing the story as a vehicle to help convey some point that, that's difficult for us to convey otherwise. So it's the purposeful stories that cleverly contain information, ideas, emotional prompts, and value propositions that the teller wants to sneak inside the listener's heart and mind. Now, if you think about it, the biases, the judgments, the perceptions, the perspectives on life that anyone has, that's what's keeping them stuck. And so if you can sneak information past their judgments, their limiting beliefs, then you can get them to think about things in a, in a healthier perspective. Now, it's still ultimately up to them, but that's what you need to do sometimes if you're going to get people to see things differently. And if they don't see things differently, then they're not going to move on. They're not going to, they're going to remain stuck. That's why they're probably coming to you in the first place, because they're stuck. They need a different perspective. And you can help them with that. But only if you can get past that judgy gatekeeper that we all have, the critical conscious mind that says, no, nope, that's not going to work. And they use all of their past failures as evidence for that. We've got to get past that. And indirect influence, stories, and particularly, and only actually, purposeful stories is the way to do that. I hope you found this useful. Think about it uh, and, uh, and, and try and implement it. And we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. God bless.